everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with a fun little project. This is from Diamond Art Club and I want to thank them so much for sending this to me for free to put together with you guys. This is going to be so cool. Now this is a first for me. This is diamond painting. I've never done this. I know a lot of people, I've seen people do it. It looks super cool, super fun. And you can see right here, this is the one we have. It's called Wildflowers Butterflies. It looks so cute. If you guys are interested in one of these kits, they have so many. They have so many kits. It was so hard for me to pick one. I just loved all of them. <laughs> but if you guys are interested and you want to get one for yourself, you can head to the description box of this video, click on the link, and you can use my discount code. It gives new customers 20% off their first order. It's Cluck20. I will put that in the description box as well. But this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to try this with you guys. Oh my goodness. It's so, it's going to be so much fun. Now this is a pretty big kit. This might take me a little while. Um, but anyway, this is how it works, right? I'm kind of doing this sideways because it's a long box. <laughs> so we're reading it sideways. We peel back the film covering the pre-applied adhesive. So of the actual like art, the mat, you'll see as we go forward. Select a symbol on the canvas you would like to work on. Um, identify the diamond bag matching the color code. So, sorry, pause. This just reminds me so much of paint by color and, or like just color, or sorry, paint by number, um, or just color by number. I used to love those as a kid. Um, then four, press the tip of the magic applicator into the wax and use the magic applicator to pick up the, uh, the fauceted side of the diamond and place the diamond onto the corresponding symbol of the canvas. Now this kit in particular includes a velvet tarpaulin canvas, a color-coded resin diamond, a um, magic diamond applicator, comfort grip and multi-placer, two wax pads, craft tray, and resealable baggies, inventory sheet with pre-cut sticker labels. Like there's so much, and this is, this is all you need, you're ready to go. Jaw dropping artwork at home that you can, sorry, jaw dropping artwork that you can do at home. No experience required. Good, because I have one. <laughs> have some time to yourself and leave the day's worries behind. Create gorgeous artwork that you can frame in your home. I would love to have this. Hopefully, I can finish it. <laughs> I should be able to, but uh, have this in my home because we are big gardeners. We love our flowers. This looks like cone flowers and daisies and obviously butterflies. This is going to be awesome. Let's go ahead and get this open and get started. I just quickly wanted to show you what we got inside the box. So here is our, I guess, mat, which we're going to unfold. And then you can see inside there's the diamond. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but all the stuff's in there. And then we have a toolkit. And then we have our little <laughs> example sticker. And it says, use it to organize your stashed kits. Place it in your logbook or anywhere you'd like. That's cool. I like the sticker. But let's open up the tool kit because we're going to need to get ready. Let's see what we have. Um, we have, we already know what we have. Oh goodness, I'm throwing things. Um, we have whoop, all of this stuff here. We have like the grip and um, I'm, I don't know. I have to figure all this out. Here's our resealable bags for our diamonds. Here's some tape. Um, we've got all kinds of fun stuff. And then this is a little tray. I was thought this was all loose glitter, but it's actually a sparkly tray. That's pretty cool. Um, here's a pin thing, the applicator, I'm guessing. And then, of course, we have the mat here. Let's get this open. I actually might need to move to a different location if this is big, like too big for my filming table. So I appear in a different location while making this project. You guys know why. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna need to move to a different a different location for this. But let me unroll this um, the best I can. Wow. All right, so um, this might take me a little while, but <laughs> we'll get it done. So um, here is what it looks like. We're gonna do a little bit of a close up here. So you can see each little itty bitty bit is a symbol and that's gonna correspond with a color which we have all of these. Oh my goodness, I have gotten it over my head, but I, <laughs> I might have to get some help with this as well. So um, we have like our code, our key code, and we have, even on the sides, sorry, I'm gonna move this. We have the code on the sides as well. So we can like trim that off later, um, but it does have a nice border so you can get a frame for it and everything. 
this is awesome. This is gonna be so fun, but I think this will take me a little while. Um, but I will, I will do like a time lapse, maybe not of the whole thing, but maybe of the whole thing. We're gonna do a time lapse. It's gonna be so pretty when it's done. But this is what it looks like. Kind of already looks like it has. It's it's textured, but it's not. It just has all of these different symbols. This is so. They're so tiny and so intricate. But I'm pretty excited to do this. This is. <laughs> this is this is so pretty. But let's go ahead and get started. Here I have to give a major shout out to my sister Jenna for helping me. I really couldn't have done it without her. This whole process, gosh, I started it in June, I think. June, July, August, September. Just finished it at the very end of September, so beginning of October. Like four to five month process. Um, Jenna was only visiting, f visiting me for about a month, so I had to do it by myself for the remaining three months. Um, it was a lot, it was fun but it was a lot like i put in hours a week in a, even the tail end of this um you can see here jenna's still working working with me but at the tail end of this video this time lapse i worked on it for like days a solid eight hours a day for <laughs> every day until i finished it because i was like so eager to get it done and it was sitting on my table for months but it was really fun. I think I would choose a bit of a smaller one next time. Honestly, it was just so large, but it ended up being so beautiful and I got to hang it on my wall and it's in a frame now and it looks stunning. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited to have it on my wall, but you know, I'm guilty of going on their website and looking at other ones. Like there's a rabbit one that I would love to do, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to take on another one just yet. It's so nice to have my audiobook playing or some music playing and doing this at the same time. It's just really nice, really nice and relaxing. And <laughs> it's just so intricate. And I just, especially this last corner I'm working on right here, it was, it was a lot of different colors and everything. It wasn't like working on one of the flowers, but even the flowers, you could see they're pink, but there was dark pink, medium pink, light pink, white. And there was all kinds of different shades and every single one of these. And it just made it look so good. Now there you have it. This is the final completed diamond art painting. This was such an interesting experience and I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.